Oh, is that a mouse? No. Oh. <laughs> huh? I think it's cool. Oh, spit them out and gone. Hanging out with each other. What's up, MFers? As you can see, we are back in the uh, the fish tank basement. I'm a man, Zach from SC Fish Ke Keeping's uh, uh, basement here. It is absolutely ridiculous. If you guys remember last time, we put up and set up the largest indoor pool thing that I've ever seen. We, we installed it because we want to add these guys, this this giant smallmouth bass right here. We've got another giant smallmouth right over there. I'm not gonna, I have to not show you guys this quite yet, but this guy right here, this is, uh, Aw, that's Millie. And then and then the big girl over here is Ken. We're not gonna show you quite yet the, the fish tank, the, the giant pool. I'll show you that in a little bit. Why don't you guys give us some, some shade a little bit? Because I didn't feed the snake the ball python. It's an expensive meal. Exactly. In a really nice home to just be feeding to a bass. Exactly. We're not gonna do that, probably. But anyway, so you were unhappy about that and how it was all in the video and everything. But we want to see what this thing, this thing's a freaking savage. We couldn't even leave Millie, the, the smaller smaller in there, because that guy was chasing her away. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but we're calling it a guy and a girl. That's Ken over there. We want to see what he'll eat. He destroyed crawfish last time. So we're going to go to the pet store and uh, pick out some, I don't know, birds, snakes, mouses, giant fish. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to find something to feed that guy. And then we're going to transport our smallmouth bass to our brand new giant fish tank pool and, and possibly see if they'll eat there too. It's gonna be a lot of stuff in this episode. Pretty jacked to show you what's sitting right behind the camera right there. So uh, let's get to the pet store. We'll come back, do a little feed, do a little bit of showing off our awesome new tank. It's gonna be a good one. Dude, what do you think about this one? Think you can eat that? It's pretty big. <laughs> Anybody home? Can't see. Anybody home? See, we, we want that, but gone. he's gone. Uh huh? What do you think, man? $60 snake? $80 milk snake? That might be a little more expensive. This is what you call fine dining. This is fine dining. This is like the filet mignon of small mouth eating for your dragon. Oh, yeah, up on the log. Oh, sick. <laughs> little lizard action. Here we go. This song bitch is only nine bucks. Green anal. <laughs> Where's the green anal at? Ooh, that guy's huge. That's a chameleon. <laughs> 80 bucks. And then scorpion in there. And Dude, in there. smallmouth love scorpions. Like it's super cool. Dude, I just got an idea. Legitimately, if this video gets to 3,500, 3,500 thumbs ups. So if I drop a thumbs up right now, I will feed the smallmouth something that costs over $50 for the next video. I don't know what it is. You guys will have to comment below. Let me know what you want to see him eat. But go leave a thumbs up. 3,500. Over 50 bucks. I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, yeah, there's some big ones down there. I think it's cool. What we got in there? This is the sweet spot. Oh, oh, is that a mouse? Mm -hmm. And a rat? Mm -hmm. Frozen medium rat? I wanna see what that looks like first yeah, off, yeah. so I gotta get that. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. That's big. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be able to eat that. Eventually the snake will eat that. But <laughs> true, true. <laughs> not, not the best. Let's see. That's like a, half the size of the small jaw. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. Oh, that's a good size. <laughs> Beauty. This is still one of the weirdest things. That I've <laughs> I can't believe they keep them like that. Yep. What you find over here? Live crickets. Are they? I think they'll eat them. Shit, yeah, they will. Five, maybe? I would say ten. Ten? Great. Ten's great. Yep. We did it. All right, pet store was, was a good freaking time. This is going to be an interesting and really fun feeding. I'm super jacked. But next next step in the process is to show you this badass pool. You guys you guys ready for it? Well, check this out. Oh, that is freaking insane. Look at that! We got a freaking pool in the basement! It's massive. I mean, obviously, when you're setting up any aquarium, you kind of get that idea in your head, and then when you see it put together, it's it's something. But I love the fact that we got that driftwood to kind of stick up and above. Yeah. I'm sure we'll show them with the lids on, uh, but I cut some holes in it so the driftwood sticks up through the lids and stuff. But Got the light in place. Oh, yeah. Lights, that I mean, massive filter. Feedings are going to be, like, insane. I don't know if you guys can see that, but one of the, uh, what is that? 
That's Shiner. The, the Shiners that we bought yeah, last one of, time that survived. One of the Shiners is running around. Yeah, he didn't get eaten yet by the smallmouth. How long has this water been in here? Uh, we filled this up. Actually, I text you, but they don't, they don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we filled this up and there was a hole in the liner. Right. So I had to patch that really quick and then I filled it up. But it's been a couple weeks that it's been running. And then with that filter, I've taken all the sponges and the filters over there and squeezed it straight in there. So mm -hmm. the water is actually matches the tank. Temperature-wise is the same and stuff too, so I was able to get the pond ready for fish kind of a lot faster than if you were just building a new aquarium. Right, right. Oh, so yeah, that's the so, pump right there. Yeah, so pumps in there. Sand would be fine, but I put it in that little tub. It's 3,000, about 3,100 gallons per hour. will go up, down, flows along that PVC, up into the trash can, and then there's just a hole here. It's off right now, so I'm comfortable doing this before we spray everything. Laundry basket. Oh yeah, laundry basket, uh, the one dollar pot scrubbies yeah. that you get from the dollar store or whatever, and then this is just like where you put in a teddy bear. Right. The stuffing. Makes for great filtration, so the water dumps in there, fills up from the bottom, and then it just drains out through those two uh, holes. So. Sick. Super simple, DIY. This part cost me like nothing. Perfect. Alright, so another thing totally badass, Zach just threw these on here. This is so, you, a lot of people were saying, you know, so you worry about the small amount of the fish. Whatever we end up putting in here, we'll jump out. Well, this is a custom made little roof for these guys with holes cut right there for the driftwood. We've got a hole cut right here for the, uh, the filter. All the tubes going out. So, uh, yeah, these guys are heavy duty. They're not, uh, not coming off no matter how hard they jump. Not coming off, but for us, you know, easy it's peasy. easy to take it. It's three sheets off, take them off, set them to the side, easy access feedings, all that good stuff. Hell yeah. So we decided since the first time Zach put both smallmouth, when, when we caught those two, we, we came back and we put them in this giant tank. This dude right here, Ken, bullied the hell out of the small one. And so we want to mix it up a little bit this time. You said that you wanted the smaller one to kind of get acclimated to the big yeah. pond because we want to put both of them in this, hopefully. Yeah, ideally both of them will be able to go in there, but we kind of get the best chance if we let her get in there and settle, acclimate and kind of find her spot. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to just immediately refill this tank. Yeah, yeah. So we can pull one of them out and then we'll just have one in each. Perfect. Another thing is, I don't remember how, how long has it been? Probably two months since we caught yeah. these guys yeah, right two here? two months, two and a half. Almost two, two and a half. Um, we're going to measure these guys too, see if they've grown any. This one definitely looks like it's grown a substantial amount, especially since we've been throwing crawdads in there. <laughs> That's funny. Just floating. Claws everywhere. All right, we got her cornered. Let's do it. Don't you do it. Oh, <laughs> she got me that time. Got her. All right. Nice. On the tape measure. Oh, shoot. She's like 15 and a half. That's almost two inches. All right, there you go. New bigger home. <laughs> Think she likes it? Oh yeah. You always tell the fish too if they're not darting around the tank or running into the corners and stuff, then you yeah. know uh, they're comfortable. She's obviously a little <coughs> stressed, new home, but uh, she'll find her spot. <laughs> she already got a little lighter in color too. Oh yeah. Next to that super light sand. That is awesome. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? He wants them. What we got there? This is lunch. It's lunch time. That's Jerry or Tom? It's which one was it? Jerry? Uh, Jerry. Jerry was the man. That's Jerry. What are we starting with, my man? I don't know. We, we got to feed this what are dude. The, what do the people want to see? <coughs> yeah. Tell us what you want to see right now, except like a couple days ago when we filmed this right now. <laughs> feed them like a live goldfish first. Let's start with the goldfish. Start with the goldfish. Warm them up a little bit. Warm, yeah. Get them a little excited, then we'll move yeah. on to a mouse, so he knows like. That's supposed to be something you eat. Yeah. Otherwise, he's not going to know what the hell it even is. Goldfish. He, he does. Hand feeding? Nope. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> it disappeared. It's a magic trick. It is. Better scales. Breathing out gold scales. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I'll like put him over there so it doesn't eat him right away. Hey, over here, look, look. Oh, Dad. <laughs> He's so fast. <laughs> Love the sparkles afterwards. Sparkles of death. So you know it's a show. Yep. Mouse time. Dude, mouse it's time. mouse time. Mouse time. 
There he is. Mass. That's the one. This guy's never eaten mice before. Has a smallmouth ever eaten a mouse on video? I don't know. Has he ever? I would assume not. Has there not. ever been a mouse live feeding by hand? <sighs> Dude, I have we no gotta, idea. We gotta get specific. Ready? Think he'll eat it? Eat it. Eat it. He wants it. Right. Too bad it's not squirming around. Now it is. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Ready? Think he'll get it? <laughs> no! <laughs> Poor mouse! That's what this guy is for. He knows. He's getting stirred up. Right here! Well, he didn't eat the mouse. You're gonna eat the net. Yeah, he wants the net, just not the mouse. Come on, bud. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're doing this live and real. That's right. It doesn't it's, always go according to real. in the fish game. Disappointment. But he did not eat the dead mouse. We're thinking maybe a live mouse. I don't even know where. Where do you buy live mice? You guys are gonna have to drop a bunch of thumbs up so we can get a live $50 lizard or something next time. I don't even freaking know. Zach is getting up the uh, crawdads right now so you guys can see him eat some a little bit bigger, but. For now, it's just going to have to be Mr. Catfish is going to have to eat our sleeping little mice right there. <laughs> and we got some more shrimp down there for Mr. Catfish. Mr. Catfish is going to be eating well and eating the mice. But for now, let's, let's, uh, let's feed a crawdad to Mr. Smalljaw. The rare one-handed. One-pincher Paul. Oh, Grammy. All right, dickhead. Mr. Used, Island, eat live bait. I've used three different nets on this feeding video. So. <laughs> Perfect. Put it over here, so... Oh God, it's gotta be alive. What a jerk. You suck, you suck, Ken. I know, I'm kidding, you're cool. Oh, spit him out, and gone. Spit him out, God. So he's trying to turn it Yeah, around. he's trying to flip it around. There he there. goes, yeah, that time. All right, he's eating a lot. He's eating a lot of stuff. Now the goal is to, I'm, I'm stupid, you guys are probably gonna yell at me, but I forgot my net that Zach told me to bring, my, my fishing net out of my boat. So we're just grabbing this Mr. Big Small Jaw by hand so we can move him over to this guy right here. Millie has chilled in here now. She's been here for a couple hours. She's been over there. She, it's funny, Zach said she'll probably stake her claim over in this corner by this driftwood, and that's exactly what she did. So hopefully big guy doesn't pick on little guy too much. If they do, Zach will move him around some more. Yep. In that case, we'll probably put the little one in the tank Yeah, we'll here. move her back over here because she's she's a couple inches smaller and she's not nearly as fat. Yeah. So she'd have a lot more room to grow in there than, than For sure. Can, so. And we're going to measure this guy when we take him out, oh, if yeah. I can get him out. Um, and we're going to assume that he's grown a lot, which he was 16 inches before. Yeah, Almost exactly 16, 16, 16 inches when, when I caught him and we brought him back that day. So yeah, this is going to be insane. Lay him down here. Cool. Just don't let that crawdad pinch my hand. <laughs> From the inside. Ah. I don't want to get your camera wet because I have a feeling there will be splashing. Oh, yeah. They probably won't be terrible with this. Don't jump out. Gotcha. Nice. It's like you've done that before. Yeah, yeah, once. One time I grabbed a fish. All right, let's <laughs> see how long he is. He, she, her. She's so fat. Ow. Seriously, like clamp down on my hand. There. That's, so about 16 and a half, yeah. looks like. It, it almost looked like 17, too. Longer. All right. Get the big dude in here. Jesus. Freaking me. It's Jaws. So you got Ken there. And Millie's hiding out behind that driftwood down there. She's like, shit, you're back. <laughs> Freaking locked it's, down it's on my thumb. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> New home. Hanging out with each other. All right, well, I suppose that's where we're going to take today's video out. Kind of an eventful day. We uh, we learned that smallmouth bass do not indeed like dead mice, which True. that happens. There's going to be trial and errors. And when we went to the pet store to get them some, something crazy to eat, we should have known something like that was going to happen. But we moved them both into this awesome pool that, that Zach created. He did an amazing job. So we got sand at the bottom. We got some natural habitat in there. Talking about adding some uh, some vegetation to it too. Freaking bleeding because that guy's mean and bit down and locked down on me while I was trying to measure him. Ken's out of freaking control. But uh, yeah, you guys have to comment down below. Let us know what you want to uh, see with this. Um, moving forward, what fish you want to see us put in there. What you want to see us go purchase and feed to these guys. I'm thinking a lizard would be sick squirming across the top of that. 
maybe find some garter snakes this summer, some bull snakes, have them go across, see if they'll I think live bait's key for these smallmouth. They're savages, but they want something live. Go with the thumbs up so uh, I can go spend way too much money on food for these guys. Of course, go subscribe to this dude, SC Fish Keeping's channel. I'll, I'll link Appreciate it right, it right down below so you guys can keep an eye on what these these dudes right here, if this is uh, if the tank stuff's your deal, if you want to see these guys every single day or, or more often anyways, go subscribe to this guy's channel. Yeah, I'm going to have a video kind of walking through, I'll do a little more in-depth on the, the filter, but then I'll also be able to kind of document as they get comfortable with each other, and then if for some reason we didn't need to move them, I'll have all that Perfect. stuff. Perfect. So. Perfect. Anyways, we'll catch you guys very soon. I'm out of here. Peace! I'm not sorry, I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine